YouTube Manifest Presents here, and I'm just going to do a quick review of this Denix Mauser C96. Um, obviously, I bought it for me to make the uh, DL44, the blaster made famous by Juan Solo. Um, this is actually a pretty good... Um, Gun replica. If you can't get your hands on the uh, was the MGC, um, which is the one that everybody uses, which is the best one to do. But if you can't get that one, I recommend this one. It's a good second place, but actually good first place for um, for one that wants to do like a sound card. So if you want to put a sound card in here, it's definitely good for that. But Let's uh, take a look at the gun. It has the uh, sights here. Let me see if I can fix the uh, focus here. So it has the sights. So you can uh, adjust that. The barrel inside. Um, this is supposed to be silver except for like a, a black like little tip here. If you look up online on the interwebs you can see how it's supposed to look. And the real uh, Mauser. And then this is supposed to be like different color silver. Uh, this, and then even, even this little box right here is supposed to be silver. <clears throat> but obviously, like I said, this isn't this isn't the best replica out there uh, that you can get. But you could definitely fix it up to make it even better. A lot of people have been doing that. Comes with the wooden grip. Comes with that. And uh, let's take a look at uh, what's on the actual gun. So. <clears throat> It has this little diamond here that says Denix, uh, made in Spain. Um, these little bolts here that keep together. It has the screw. The barrel has a little orange cap that I actually did, accidentally pushed in. Um, like I said, wooden barrel. This thing. The only thing that I really don't like is this safety doesn't move at all. It just stays in that one place. Um, and the actual Mauser, this is supposed to be a screw, like a screw that that you unscrew with uh, so like a screw, uh, flathead screwdriver. But here it's just a regular, like, I don't know what you call that, just a flat little surface. Um, but I'm pretty sure we can, you know, fix that paint, paint and make it look more like a screw. Uh, this is the other side. I already been playing with it a lot, so there's a lot of weathering, which I'm kind of glad because, as you know, Han Solo's DL44 has a lot of weathering. But if you're looking for, like I said, something to uh, to use, hold on, something to use for your DL44, this is definitely a good buy because I bought this for like 80. You can buy this from 80 to like 100 bucks. I, I spent like 80 something on this. I forgot how much. Uh, close to 90. But yeah, if you just look around, I'm pretty sure you can find it for cheap. Um, that's pretty much it. But for the um, DL44, I'm going to buy a kit to put the scope and um, I might actually have to cut this. Put the flash hider and put the mystery disc. Um, I want to see how I can, if I can do the sound card myself, I want to see if there's an easy way to put that on there. Um, just remember, just because I do videos on YouTube doesn't mean I'm an expert at this stuff. I, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. That's my motto because I really, you know, I really don't know how to do stuff like this. I just do it because it's fun. Um, but yeah. This feels like wood, like actual wood. I'm pretty sure that's wood. Um, it doesn't feel like plastic at all. But yeah, like I said, this is a really good gun to to have if you're gonna if you're gonna do a uh, DL44. Let's see if I can zoom in there a little bit. Get some nice detail for you guys so you can see like the difference. I know when I looked this 
look this up online. There was not that many videos or or anything like that. Like if you look here, they have the line that you're supposed to have like a cl the clip that comes off the spring, like not like an actual clip that you put the bullets in because you put the bullets in from the top, but then like the little spring uh, comes out from here. But it's cool though because the actual um, BBs they have clips that go in here, which is pretty badass. But yeah. So obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, things that I'm going to change to make this a DL44. But hopefully this uh, helps you see like the, the different details of the gun. Because like I said, there was a lot of videos that I watched that really didn't help me see the details of this gun. But hopefully with this video, um, it will allow you to... Uh, It'll allow you to uh, see details. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see me uh, finish this up. Uh, I plan on finishing it as soon as the uh, the kit becomes available. Um, and uh, I'll try to take you step by step on how I'm going to sand this off, put the mystery disc, and, and you know cut this off. Things I do before I get the the actual kit because there's a lot of stuff that you have to do before you get the kit and um, I'm gonna look into sound cards to see what I can do but thanks for watching please subscribe like favorite share do all those nice things you like to do and uh, bye bye